Today on our 2012 Cadillac CTS, we're going to be installing the Draw Tight Sport Frame Trailer Hitch, Class 1, 1 and a quarter inch, part number 24767. Now you can see here, this is what our hitch is going to look like when it's installed. It's going to be tucked back nicely, it's almost not even going to be noticeable. This Class 1 hitch is going to be great for bike racks, cargo carriers, and cargo baskets. It has an inch and a quarter receiver with a half inch hitch pin hole. Now this is Hitch pin is not included, but one can be picked up on our website with part number PC2. It has loop style safety chains for light hauling, and they're pretty big, so you should be able to get any size safety chain hook on there. It has a 200 pound tongue weight, that's the pressure forcing down on the top, and a 2,000 pound hauling capacity, that's your gross weight that you're pulling behind it. Now it is recommended to check your vehicle's owner's manual to ensure you're not going to exceed its capacities. Now I'll give you some measurements to help you when deciding on accessories. From the ground to the inside top edge of the receiving tube, it's going to be about 10 and 3 quarter inches. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, it's going to be about 6 and a half inches. And now that we've gone over some of the features, let's show you how to get it installed. We're going to start inside of our trunk here. We need to pull the carpet and spare tire out so we can access the trunk floor pan. Take your spare tire out, set it aside, then remove your jack and jack holding assembly. Now remove the pins for your net. There's one on each side. Now that we've got everything out of the way, we can pull our carpet back to expose our floor pan. Just push that back out of the way. Now we're going to lower our exhaust. Before we do that, we're going to put a strap in place to hold it up to prevent it from causing any damage. Next we're going to need to remove the six hangers. We need some silicone spray. There's two here in the front and one in the back on each muffler. And you can use a pry bar to just work it off of there. Then get your last hanger off and pull your exhaust down. You may need to lift it up over the bumper to get it to come down further. Now we're going to set our hitch into place. You need to get one side up over the exhaust first and then you can work the other side up. Now that you've got your hitch up over your exhaust, we can lift it up, push it all the way towards the rear of the vehicle so it's flush, and then make your mark in the hole. Once you've marked both holes on each side, we can go ahead and lower it back down so we can drill those out to place in our hardware. Next, we're gonna center punch each hole that we marked so we can drill it out for our hardware. Now that we've got all our holes center punched and marked, we're going to start with a small pilot hole and eventually step it up to a half inch. Now that we're back up top, we can drill out the pilot holes that we just made. It'll be a lot easier doing this from up top, you'll have more room to work. I do recommend removing this panel here so that way you don't end up scratching it with your drill while drilling. The panel can be removed by pulling out on the two small hook holes here. Just pull that right out of there, and this panel should just pop right off now. We can set that out of the way. Now we're going to step it up to a half inch. And then finally to half inch. Now after you clean the metal shavings out of the way, we can put our bracket into place. You're going to put the notch towards the front of the vehicle facing outwards and put your carriage bolts into place. And do this on both sides. Now we want to seal these holes up to prevent any exhaust streams from entering in our trunk. So we're going to use some silicone lubricant. You can pick some up here at eTrailer with part number LT37467.
and do that for your remaining two bolt holes. Now with an extra set of hands, we're gonna lift the hitch up. Again, it's best to start one side first, and then lower your exhaust down a little bit to get your other side into place. With your hitch put up there, now we're gonna take our lock washer and nut, place it on the carriage bolts we slid through before, and do this for the remaining carriage bolts. Once you've got all your bolts started, we can go back and tighten them down using the 11 16 socket. Now with all of our bolts snug, we can go back and torque them to the specifications found in your instructions. And do that for all the remaining hardware. Now with our hitch secured and torqued down to the spec, we can put our exhaust back into place. Again, we'll use some spray silicone to make it easier to get our exhaust hangers back on. There are totaling six of those, so make sure you don't forget me. And with all of our exhaust hangers back into place, we can take our strap down. Now we'll continue our reassembly by putting the trunk hatch cover back on. Then we'll put our carpet back. Make sure to tuck that up underneath your side and front panels. And you'll put your net pins back in. The jack and related components. Spare tire. Spare tire hold down. And finally, your spare tire cover. Now we're ready to load up our favorite accessories and hit the road. And that completes our installation of the Draw Tight Sport Frame Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2012 Cadillac CTS. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.